Hello everybody! In this tutorial, we will write a simple HTTP middleware with Roadrunner in Velox. For the previous videos, you know that some things we should implement for the plugin. First is a name, next is a plugin structure and init function. Here we requested our dependencies from the Roadrunner. We initialize our configuration, populate it, initialize some default values and initialize our logger. The new thing that we should implement is a middleware function. So we don't need a serve and stop, only middleware. Middleware function receives HTTP handler argument and returns also HTTP handler. So it's kind of a wrapper for our HTTP handler. So to have an access to the response writer and HTTP request pointer, we need to return HTTP handler function with anonymous function here. So inside this function here, you can have any logic you want. So it this middleware sits between the user and the PHP worker. So any transformation of request here are allowed because so, for example, in our case, we will implement a call to a third-party API. For example, to populate some things, some headers or some values from our configuration. Here we call a Google API and get some response. So, and from this response, we'll get a status code. Also, we'll log this. So, let's have a look at our YAML configuration. To activate a middleware, we should add a middleware to the list of the middleware. We can also have a configuration here, my middleware name, and say something hello. So also this configuration placed inside the HTTP YAML section. Let's have a look at our build script, Velox Tomal. In the Velox, everything is pretty standard. I mean, Velox, Roadrunner version, GitHub token, GitHub plugins, and logger. So what plugins we should have here? So minimal set of plugins are logger, because we requested logger in our init function. Server, because we started workers here, we use a server plugin. And obviously we need to have an HTTP in our custom middleware. So for the custom middleware, I used a replace directive just to make uh, local development simpler. So let's try to build and execute the Roadrunner with our middleware included in it. So first of all, let's install the Velox. You have uh, several ways to install Velox. First is uh, like go install if you have go installed on your local PC. Also, you can download it directly from the uh, GitHub releases and you can use also a Docker. Next, we need to build uh, Roadrunner with our plugin in cloud included in it. So here we use a VX build minus C its configuration and minus O where to put the Roadrunner binary. So we'll, we would like to put it to the current directory. Let's wait a little. Yeah, and build finished. And we also can see here as the output path for the our run binary. Let's verify it. Just print a version. It's, it seems that everything is correct. And let's serve. Okay, run server started. Let's try to call our HTTP endpoint. As you can see here, our HTTP endpoint located at the 8080 address. Let's use curl to do this. 
Here we can see just a random output from our PHP worker and the most interesting part is here. Here we see my middleware name response with HTTP code 200 and our HTTP log from response from the HTTP plugin itself. So the nice thing here is that we, we can see a logger and the name, my middleware name for every like middleware separated. So we, if we have like 10 middlewares, we don't have a mix of logs from, from the like middleware we don't know. So every log is specify uh, middleware for it here. And let's try to stop it and let's try to delete it. For example, what happens if we delete this middleware? So it's obviously we will not see uh, our my middleware name response. And that's because we removed and we didn't add a middleware to the chain of our middleware. And let's do the following. Let's revert this. And let's try to delete my middleware name configuration section. And we'll do this because here in our plugin, we, we want to test our errors disabled, for example. And uh, let's try to build. I'm sorry to start. And we also don't see this output my middleware name from the middleware because our donor removed this middleware from the tree. So thanks for watching and goodbye.